friend If Celia says you're all right, then...
Here do I watch this place, for so long as this place exists in this world. So may Distora the Fierce, so shall I obey. Here do I watch this place, for...
You are not a beast. Thank the gods. I was searching for survivors when suddenly the others in my party started to transform into slobbering beasts. I managed to run into the side room and slam the door. The sounds of their bickering over the remains of the fallen soldiers was driving me mad. Can you escort me back to the captain? I don't think my official escort will be coming to help me. Likely, they'll be coming to eat me. Please, help me get out of here and report to my squadron leader. Thank you. You should know that there are others missing as well. The patrol split into three groups. Private Nolan and his partner were going to investigate the storage and barracks area. Private Caden was going to search in the western part of the gate complex.
like Zyria. I ducked in here to look for survivors, but I got ambushed and there were too many for me to take on. Can you escort me back to my squadron leader? He should still be at the rebel down the road.
whoever you are, it's good to see you. My partner and I split up to look for survivors, and I thought I heard something in this room, but I was ambushed by some horrible beast-like thing. I managed to defeat it, but was severely wounded. A closer look at the creature's body, and oh, I saw that it used to be my partner. It's good to have an escort finally turn up. for rescuing my men. Most of our spare gear is destroyed or unreachable, but we found this dusty key under a rock. I'm not sure what it opens, but perhaps you will find it useful. I suppose that you have come to laugh at me too, big joke. See the brawny half-giant stuck in a hole? Captain Dathry seems to think I might wrap my big strong hands around his puny little neck. I laugh at him. <laughs> hmm. I would not like to be stuck in a hole like that Sartan fella. Of course, all half giants know one another, and we all have a secret handshake too. Bah, we have work to do. By the light of Syria. Valdis has managed to breach our defenses. Men, I want you to blast through this rubble. Bywood, Torex, and Parthal. Get the explosives from the storage area and report back here immediately. Orain, keep a sharp lookout for enemies. The desert? Then you have the weapon? You... who are you? Blazes! I did not hope to believe anyone would be successful. The weapon, let me see it. Vault. You must mean the locked chambers inside the Western Wing. But Valdis is nearby, and this place is riddled with the plague. You have no hope of entering there now. You are either a hero or mad. But my men are succumbing fast, so I have no choice but to trust you. The vault is locked with two keys. Here is the first. My lieutenant holds the second key, but he has not been seen for hours. I fear the worst. If you can find him and get his key, then you can open the vault and perhaps retrieve this weapon. I pray it is there. Valdis must be stopped.
suppose we could do with that think of it they tell us that it is a powerful object it looks ridiculous but you never know perhaps we could pull lightning from the sky or hurl fire onto our enemies well it is possible is it not we do not know what this thing will do
metallurgy skills are unsurpassed. The shield! Is that the weapon? Well done, stranger. We may prevail after all. Zyria will surely be pleased if so many of our enemies fall in her temple. Aye, well, what can mere men do against such an invisible enemy? At least we had time enough to lock Sartan up. His constant raving about ghosts tells me that he is infected as well. The last thing we want is a maddened half-giant running loose. Best stay at a body's length at the very least. You'd be surprised how far his reach is. Captain Dathry, sir, the explosives are in place. The fuses are lit. Take cover!
that Sartan creature's yelling is going to drive me mad as well. I wish the plague would take him already. All right, I will let him out. But if he so much as winks at me, my arrow will find his eye. You have my thanks for releasing me from that stinking hole. You strike me as honorable. I will help you run things if you enjoy the company of a maddened half-giant. <laughs> All right, then I shall find myself a cozy tavern and enjoy a barrel of ale. <laughs> You can make your way forward to the temple. We will do what we can to hold this demon spawn back. right behind you. If they kill you, I promise to dispose of your body respectfully. May your death be swift and painless, as you say.
Have you come to pay homage to Ziria Traveler? It is good to see visitors to the temple again. There had been a very long stretch when no one came at all. Lately we have had a few strange ones, but that is all. Have people so easily forgotten the warrior goddess? Why do you call me spirit? And why do you call this beautiful and peaceful temple a ruin? Why, just look at the... My, but it has suddenly become dark in here. Where are the candles? And why has the choir ceased its enchanting strains? My sister priestess is all gone? Then that means I too? Oh my, do you see? A shore on the horizon. It shines so brightly.
his eyes. What was that? Unbelievable! Where did such a thing come from? And what of them? Surely you have not found them here, or we would not be having this conversation. Aye, would that we could have accompanied you up here. Perhaps then we could have caught Valdis in time. Aye, I am afraid so. It is an elven town called Amanlu. Amanlu. Are you well? You look like you've just seen a ghost. people. Hardly any have survived, but you are here? We heard you and Drevin had been assigned to Valdis's vanguard force and were commanded to seize Graven Eye. Celebhel will be more than glad to have your help. He has been within the Altorn Hall ever since Valdis left us ruined. Forgive me, they need my help with the wounded. It's good to have you home. This is your hometown. I lived here too long ago. Not much left. Even less of a reason now to stay. Welcome to look around if you take care where you step. Not all of these spilled items are harmless. If you feel a prickling of the skin on your neck, do not be alarmed. These halls contain many frightened spirits who have not yet found their way across the sacred waters. Yes, I have always been in tune with the ethereal world in a way. I have spent much of my time collecting information about it, and I have even managed to come into contact with a ghostly spirit. Obviously, talking to spirits is impossible through normal means. Their words are completely unintelligible to our ears, even if the ghost in question has manifested itself enough to become visible to our eyes. Not necessarily. My research indicates that the Vaikesh cultists use ancient chants to communicate with the darker spirits, the source of their otherworldly knowledge. If I could know what they spoke during their dark rituals, I think I may be able to figure it out. Are you interested in helping me? The Vaikesh are much too cunning to simply leave such information lying around. I fear that the only way to learn the secret of their chant is to overhear one of their rituals. Seek them out in the Vaikesh forests and look for one of their ritual chambers hidden within their caverns. But beware, the cultists are not the only danger in this undertaking. The words themselves can be a threat to mortal ears.
far. What nerve, walking the streets like a free man. You should be behind bars. I've committed no crime. You know it. Liar. You stole my golden cloak and hid it in a cave in the forest. You are the liar. I saw you with my own two eyes. Then your eyes are failing you. It was not me. I knew it. A liar as well as a thief. You're wrong. I'll prove it. I'll find your precious cloak. Find it? You mean return it. I'll find it, and the true thief as well. Be gone. And don't even think about taking anything else. I'll go to this cave you speak of and get to the bottom of this. Dangers lurk in many places throughout the world. Take care in whom you lend your trust. Hey, you could only be speaking of one person then. Trust him not. He conspires with the Vikesh to release a demon into this world. Did he mention the Vikesh when you spoke with him? He may have used their lesser known name, Manu Ostar. My friend, the Manu Ostar and the Vikesh are one and the same. Master Thestrin sought to trick you into giving him the heirloom sword to further his and the Vikesh's power in this world. That demon must be destroyed at all costs. Do not allow it to be unleashed upon the world where its power will only grow. Will you aid me? The location of the demon is deep within the Vikesh forest between their sanctuary and the first of their treacherous bridges. That cursed Baldis and his archmage may have smashed our homes and even half of the inn, but they missed my stock of fine elvish vintages. <laughs> uh, it will take time to rebuild our lives, but in the meanwhile, there is wine plenty for all. Certainly. It is always pleasant to meet a young person who knows how to appreciate a fine local tradition, especially in these dark days. Take a seat, my friend. Have some wine and tell me a story of your adventures. Ah, well, let's see now. Tell me about the time you killed a sea demon. Ah, you have not killed a sea demon. Oh, very well. Uh, tell me a story about your conquest of the treacherous Arugan. Oh. You have not even heard about the treacherous Arugan. Well, this is a surprise. But you must have encountered that undead Duchess L'Oreal that tilted at some point, at the very least, correct? My goodness, well, I had you pegged as more of an adventurous type. Is there anything you have defeated? Hmm, my friend, one such as yourself might be needing to get out more, prove yourself some. I might know of an adventure of sorts for you. A bit of a challenge, in fact. Are you interested? There is a special place you can go. Not far from here, in fact. Dangerous spot to be found there. Many go in, but few come back out. It is not far, as I said. Go through the door behind the bar and descend into the wine cellar. You will find Tristeth waiting at the far end of the room. Say to him... Quivador, and he will let you pass. This is the tavern wine cellar. If you wish to forget your troubles for a time, speak to the bartender upstairs. Nothing down here but dusty bottles and broken glass. Hush. You should not talk about that place so loudly in times like these. I suppose you do look like the type, though. Did Drudwin say anything else? You may pass through to the Amanlu Arena down below.
Sweet lad, my Lounerman. Welcome to the Amanlu Arena. The Amanlu Arena is a place of fierce combat. If you prove yourself victorious against the challengers, you will earn a generous reward. Would you like to test your strength in the arena? Indeed, I knew that you would accept the challenge. To begin the fight, purchase a token from me. Place it on the pedestal in the center of the arena to begin. Do you wish to buy a token? You've won the first challenge. If you'd like to try your luck in the second round, you will need to purchase a token. Would you like to buy one now? Won the second challenge. If you'd like to try your luck in the third round, you'll need to purchase a token. Would you like to buy one now?
not give up your search. We must stop the foul cultus once and for all. But I need the Vikesh phrases if I am to proceed further. In the meantime, perhaps some of my wares could help you in the investigation? Interesting. I came here looking for one mark, but here I find another. I was expecting a different target. That man nearly killed you. You are very lucky to be alive. I did not know if the rumors were true. Now I have seen with my own eyes. The assassins are at work, even here in Armandlu. As if we did not have troubles enough. Yes, he appeared from the shadows as if he were one with them. 
Such shadow-walking thieves have been noticed increasingly in the lands beyond the forest. Calrathia, once the very image of purity outside of Armonlu, is suspected of harboring the Assassin's Guild. Many of the Ed Hell know of it from travelers, and a few even visit it regularly. The merchant who owns this house left for Calrathia a week ago, in a great hurry. I hope he has not run into trouble with these honorless thieves. That I do not know. Perhaps you have angered someone you should not have. Did he say anything before he attacked you? Really? Very interesting. Merchant Kendrell is not all that well liked. He is a bit underhanded in his dealings, if you know what I mean. Still, that is not reason enough to kill an innocent. Are you sure there was nothing else unusual? What were you doing inside the house? Ah, oh, you have a Leon Tearstone. The Spider Watcher's gift to the one he intends to kill. You should not have picked that up. That assassin's gift forever marks the target as his kill. It doesn't matter that you are not the contracted target. If you become entangled in his web, you are his. Hmm, I am not sure what more to tell you. Although I do seem to remember an enchantress who visited us once and asked about such stones. I spoke to her at length. I am sure she will remember my name. If you are able to make it to Calrathia, look for Enchantress Valeria and tell her Danadel sent you. will curse him with my final breath. Many of my animals are dead because of his justice. If you're gonna find him, though, I'll sell you whatever wretched creatures I have left. Ah, uh, <laughs> no, not now. If I were to keep anything valuable here, it would be that beast I once saw a Morden Grawl mage summon by accident. It was not huge, but it was very powerful. It had a large metallic horn. And it used some sort of power that stirred the Dervless into a frenzy. They kept attacking it, but to no effect. It is possible that Kartos the Wise might know more about it. But he wouldn't give me the time of day, even if I could find him. Kartos the Wise was the most powerful magician I have ever met. Unfortunately, he became complacent and took more interest in the bottle than in magic, if you think my meaning. He disappeared around the time the Morden attacked Calrathia. Some people think he died during the battle, but others say he just moved to a town somewhere on Greyland Isle. Me? I think he is just in hiding until safer times. But he would not be hard to find, what with that yellow robe and the black boots and gloves he always wore. May have looked odd, but he seemed to like it well enough. Stranger. Hello, I am Darren, and you must be a prospector. That I am. How did you know? No one else would carry such odd tools. Well, now, I'm ready to quit being a prospector. The only luck I've been having is bad. How is that possible? The world is full of abandoned riches. I have this old map, you see. It's supposed to lead to a fabulous treasure, but it's useless. I was going to burn it, but... You may have it if you wish, young dryad. Mad, Deru. Do not waste your time on this wild goose chase. Where is your spirit of adventure? This could be the beginning of an amazing journey. Or a complete waste of time. I do not share your sour temperament, and don't expect me to share my riches with you.
May Astara be with you in your journeys. If you seek specialized equipment, I have something you may find intriguing. Well, not only am I a great marksman and fine trainer of arranged arts, I have some expertise in alchemy. With a little help from you, I could put my latest theory to a test. Would you be willing to help me gather the ingredients? Excellent. I need you to collect the following reagents. Jagged arrowheads, a griffin feather, and an onyx fragment. Hopefully you will come across these ingredients in the forests around Amun Lu. Combat magic has ever been a strength of the elves, and no elf knows more of this art than I. As its guardian, it is my duty to share what I can. Or perhaps you would like to hear an old tale. My tale is long and eventful. Do you have the time to sit and hear it? Yes, I do understand. Well, long ago, an elf named Erinth was both a sorcerer and a craftsman who lived at the time of Estero and Estara. He created a beautiful staff and enchanted it with magics that amplified his abilities a hundredfold. But... Aaron's newfound power consumed him until he was but a raving beast, stronger than all of the Edhel, save for two, Estero and Estora. They were finally able to rip the staff from Aaron's hands. The staff was separated into parts by Estora and secured in guarded reliquaries across the land. Aaron was imprisoned in a place of Estero's making. If you can find the pieces of Aaron's legendary staff, I am certain that I can restore it to its former glory. Good. I have copied what I need from this book. You may take it. Perhaps it will help you locate the reliquaries containing the staff fragments. It mentions three. One for the focusing stone, one for the jeweled shaft, and one for the carved rod. Alas, I do not. I am sorry that I cannot offer you more help. good friend. It is good to have you home, even in times as dark as these. When the tragedy hit, I thought of you, and how strong you were when we became lost in the Ellen Lou Isles as children. You seem much changed. I was wondering if you could help me with something, if, if you have the time, of course. Ah, if I could bring a small joy back to the children of this town. I know I could do so with this. My departed grandfather's staff. It glows with such beautiful colors, but the headpiece is missing. If somehow you could replace it, I would be most grateful. You are still the friend I once had. I, I will do my best to pull myself together, and I wish you good speed. Amanlu is in need of anything to lift its spirits. Celapel will want to see you. He has things to tell you. Greetings. I am afraid much of the town now lies at the bottom of this cursed crater. As you can see, my shop has nearly been destroyed as well, but you are welcome to look through what little stock remains. Tragic days have seen too many of our youth pass on. 
We have all lost loved ones to that cursed creature. My A-star will never again see the morning sun rise over the hills. I will sell you what little I have left. A perfectly balanced blade can make one forget one's grief. If only for a moment. there. If you want equipment, you should talk to... Wait a minute. You are that mercenary, are you not? Well, by Zerius Spear, I just received a package from my brother Feldwer for you. He wanted me to thank you for helping him. Ah, a fine hero you make, too. Though you might make a better one if you had a real hero's weapon to match. Please accept this token of Feldwer's thanks. I hope it serves you well in your travels. Give up your search. Homecoming is a child. Young Drevin, did he return as well? Many suspected as much. The Elven Heart is sensitive to such passings. He will be well mourned. This game of alliances is hellish to play. A single misstep can bring such terrible atrocities. too long to see it, but our role in this war has weakened. At one time, Valdis sought our counsel. He has gone too far now. The power of the sword has consumed him, mind and soul. The tie is severed. Never will the elves bow to the whims of a madman. Valdis does not listen to reason now. He demanded the relic we have held within our shrine for generations. Even had he spoken courteously as he did once, I would not have given it to him. Still, it did not matter, as the princess had come and taken it already.
Indeed, my child. You missed her by a few days. There was a precious relic, more dear than all the gold in Valdis' temples. Now that it is gone, I can tell you that the relic was the Aegis of Death. So, you have heard of this artifact. The Aegis are objects of great power. The princess pleaded with us to release the one we held, so that she could bring it to the safety of Snowbrook Haven and its full garrison. There, the heart of the Resistance wages war against Valdis' forces. With the Aegis, they may have the strength they need to crush his foul army. I could not refuse her. There is more at stake in this war than the safety of one small town. The princess and her royal guards carried the Aegis away on a caravan three days ago. It is safe for now. Its whereabouts are shrouded in a haze not even Amrin is able to pierce. And while Valdis is traveling to the castle as well, he will not take the same road. Her Highness meant to go by the old ways through the forests. Still, I fear the Aegis will be vulnerable soon. You are no longer driven solely by your own needs, I see. I am proud of you. It seems this place is not the only thing that has changed. Their route was to the south across the bridge. Unfortunately, there's not much left of the bridge now. It has been all we can do just to keep the fires from consuming the town completely. They will not be extinguished by mundane means, I am afraid. Aye, she lives here still. Finola could perform that duty, were she not already occupied. She has taken it upon herself to travel to the Ellen Lou Isles. She means to activate the ancient prism of the elves and save this town. The prism of the elves was created by our ancestors. Hysteru himself filled it with his own energy. It is to be used only in times of dire need, for its power will be greatly diminished long after its healing rains have ceased. You have my blessing, then. I will order the North Gate to be unlocked for you. One more thing, my child. You may want to stop by Drevan's childhood home. His sister, Driangel, received a letter from him a few months ago, addressed to you. His Stara be with you. Make haste. There is no time to lose. seemed surprised to see you. You were sick of the same old town, I imagine. I know that feeling. was. This place was a shrine to history. Relics of power and antiquity were held here. The Aegis of Death 
was the most wondrous of these. Even Guardian Commander Wethril would gaze at it for hours. I came upon him suddenly one evening. My memory grows hazy at that point. It was a popular artifact for something so very secret. Celebel only recently showed it to the Princess Evangeline and allowed her to take it with her. Now, in its absence, this place is naught but a cellar, damp and cold. Yay. Ah, so this is a bit sad that he, then we don't give him good. He got a bit much more. He got more money. He got something with some of the stuff. Well, now, what has happened to the Western Wall? I can see the ocean even from here, and what looks to be like white cliffs rising above a bright shore. Perhaps I will go have a look. Nem úgy csak két óra lehet, nem lehet a hangot hallani. De a gáv azt látottad, hogy ott kell legyőzni. Van még idő? Sem tudod, hogy tehet. Azzal kell kezdődni, hogy nem. Gyorsan. That lady used to win giant really sick. Sajnálom, hogy is a lágvédse megtanulta a várost, és tél megöltek. A spirit, you say? But that means I will never win Lotharen's heart. Oh, the pale shores beckon so brightly. Look, the haze is lifting. Be well, kind stranger. May you live to find the love I never had. Szóltsa mi? to see you again, though this day is so dark that your safe return will not brighten it. <laughs> yes, I wondered why my brother did not return with you. Please tell me what happened to him. Somehow I knew. So my heart was warned him even before you brought me this final news. My brother was a soldier and sought death in battle. I grieve that he found it. But his passing makes the news I have for you that much more bitter. Valdus's wrath has taken more from you than my dear brother. Your family has suffered because of his madness. 
When Valdus attacked Amanlu, they were... They have crossed the final waters to the shining shores beyond. I am sorry. Oh, my dear friend, would that I could ease your suffering. No, please, it is too much. I cannot lose you too. Please. Oh, it's my full color. Remember that you have friends here who grieve with you, though we may do so more quietly. Do not make promises that you may not be able to keep, Malonamen. I cannot, I cannot give you my blessing in this folly, but I can give you something else. I, I received a letter from Drevin just before Valdus struck. It is addressed to you. I have not read it, so I do not know. Oh, Perhaps he suspected that his time was short. At any rate, here it is. Mehetünk ő vissza Erwanba. going to find out about that strange stone in the temple of Zyria for me? How did that turn out? Well, you have gone to a lot of trouble on my behalf. So here's something to add to your returns. Hopefully it will make it a little more worth your while. Good day to you. Okay, you tell them. It's as hard on it. Ne, ne, me kid, idiot. Don't do ne, me kid, ki meg.
Good. Etikish. They've done a fine job hiding the treasure. It must be tremendous if they went to all this trouble. Step lively, Deru. If the treasure is as valuable as you say, there may be fierce creatures guarding it. You must keep your wits about you. Okay, it's most... és majd csak egy dolgok volt hátra és ez itt van Here do I watch this place, for so long as this place exists in this world. So may Distora the Fierce, so shall I obey. You are the Seeker? Distora foretold this day, and commanded me speak to you. Aranth the Mad still does live, and his staff does still hold power. Do not bring the two together. For the staff is the key that unlocks the prison. The chest is now open. Na, se csak most nézi meg, hogy mi kéne valamit csinálni. Nem, 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 nem. Már nem. Jó, ennyi volt. Jó, akkor az utóbb folytatjuk. És boldog új